I've noticed that Expert Mode Wall of Flesh is a very hard boss, especially if you don't know what to do. So, I am making a tutorial based on my experience with the Expert Mode Wall of Flesh so you, the viewers, can benefit from it. Today, I am telling you my tips on how to beat the Expert Mode Wall of Flesh for the first time. Any recipes that you are not aware of can be found on the Terraria Wiki by simply looking them up. Without further ado, let's hop into it. First, you need to know what armor set you should use. A full Molten armor set is highly suggested as the Wall of Flesh has many attacks, such as lasers and leeches that are bound to do lots of damage, so lots of defense is key. Next, you'll want to construct your runway for the fight. This battle is usually very long the first time, so a line of blocks 4 stacks long, which is about 4,000 blocks. This is a minimum, and to be sure, you can make it up to 6 stacks of blocks long, or 6,000 blocks. Next, you may want to know what equipment to use. To start off, boots are necessary to survive the last phase of the fight. You can use Frost Spark boots for the best results, but Lightning, Spectre, or anything from the Hermes Boots family can do. Remember that these are a must-have, so make sure to search lots of underground chests for those boots. Next, we have both the Obsidian Shield and the Shield of Cthulhu. Remember that both of these shields have different functions, so both of them should be used. The Obsidian Shield helps prevent other enemies or enemies spawned by the Wall of Flesh not to knock you into the wall, which would be a quick death for anyone in pre-hardwood armor. The Shield of Cthulhu's dash ability is used to get you away from the wall in case you are knocked near it or for when it starts to speed up, so the Shield of Cthulhu is also highly recommended. Lastly, the last necessary item is the Mana Flower. Of course, you may be wondering what I mean with this, and I promise that it is necessary with the strategy that I will be telling you about later in the video. The Mana Flower is very useful and will help a lot with crowd control, which is overlooked sometimes when considering a Wall of Flesh fight. You will have one extra equipment slot left, and you can do whatever you want with it. I recommend putting something in for defense or mobility, so I would recommend something like a Lucky Horseshoe, which can be found in Flying Islands, just because it is a useful item that lasts even through endgame Terraria. Next, we have the weapons to use. You will need a mini shark paired with about 3 to 4 stacks of meteor shot, or 2 stacks if you're looking for a challenge or just feeling especially risky. The meteor shot is necessary, even better than the regular musket balls, because they pierce and they do more damage as well as bounce around. This is key because if one of the hungries gets in the way of an eye, the meteor shot will pierce right through it, where a musket ball will be absorbed and deal no damage. I cannot stress enough how much of a difference the meteor shot makes, and it is genuinely the difference of whether you win the fight or not. Next, there is the Water Bolt paired with the Mana Flower. The Mana Flower automatically drinks potions when necessary, and it increases the damage of your mana weapons. This is also essential, because with the Water Bolt's infinite pierce, it also does a good amount of damage to other enemies and even the eyes. This is another must-have, so remember to bring a plethora of mana as well as healing potions, because both of those are real game-changers. Before we get to the strategy, a quick recap of what you will need. A full set of Molten Armor. A runway, 4 to 6,000 blocks long. Boots, such as Frost Spark or Hermes Boots. The Obsidian Shield. The Shield of Cthulhu. The Mana Flower. Mini Shark with 3 to 4 stacks of Meteor Shot. Water Bolt. Around 90 mana potions or 200 lesser healing potions. As many healing potions as you can get your hands on, recommendation is 20 greater healing potions, but regular healing potions and lesser healing potions can do, but will be much harder. Now, time for the strategy you will need. You want to start out by getting a guide voodoo doll, which is always dropped by the rare enemy in the underworld, the voodoo demon. You have to spawn the wall of flesh by throwing the voodoo doll into the lava, and the wall of flesh will spawn on the side of the screen that you are facing. However, before you spawn it, you need to make sure that you are zoomed all the way out because you want to stay as far away from the wall as possible while still being able to see it. This is the time to throw on any buffs that you have, like Iron Skin or the Well Fed buff. These are optional, but can be very helpful. Once the Wall of Flesh spawns, stay as far away from it as you can and aim for the eyes to shoot at with your Mini Shark. The mouth also works when you can't shoot the eyes, but the mouth will take less damage from the weapons where the eyes take full damage. There are a few enemies that spawn in front of the wall that may get in the way of your bullets, but thanks to the meteor shot, the bullets should rip right through straight to the eye. Keep up this strategy while constantly dodging the numerous lasers and leeches that the wall will try to hit you with. Now is probably a good time to say that if any other monsters spawn during the boss fight, you should take care of those first before continuing to damage the wall, because ignoring them will likely result in your death, 
due to damage or accidentally dashing into them. The leeches that are spawned by the wall, however, you do not have to prioritize as they are generally not an issue and are usually killed by the other damage you are dealing with. However, if the leeches do build up, then feel free to take care of them. Remember to use any healing potions if necessary. After a while of damage dealing, the hungries may start to build up. The meteor shot does do a good job of taking care of them, but when they build up, the amount of piercing the meteor shot does will not suffice, as it only pierces around 5 enemies. This is when you must use your water bolt to take care of the hungries and leeches that have been building up. I do not recommend using the water bolt as your main weapon, because they travel so slow that most of them miss. Anyways, after enough shots, the hungry should be out of the way and you should be free to deal damage as you please. When the wall of flesh gets to around 1000 health, it is time to really start distancing yourself from the boss. Stay as absolutely far away from the wall as you can, while continuing to do as much damage as possible. As the wall gets lower on health, they will be moving so fast that even frost spark boots cannot outrun it. This is the part of the fight where you have to do the remaining 500 damage before it runs into you and likely kills you. Do everything you can to get the last bit of damage on the boss, and you will have successfully defeated the wall of flesh and entered hard mode. Congratulations! I hope this tutorial helped you beat the wall of flesh, and have a great rest of your day!